Good morning, it's currently 6 a.m. Cyclists are everywhere. And today we're gonna to do the Mallorca 312. No! Wait! Set! So we're just over 50k in, just made it to Gorge Blur, been up the Feminia. Hey, I serve you. Oh, okay. Now, <laughs> you're an interview. Yeah, okay, ask a question. Uh, <laughs> where do you come from? York, England. York, England. Yeah, you? I'm from Munich, Germany. Munich, nice. Have a nice ride. Nice, you too. <laughs> Bye. Okay, that's the first that feed zone, but we're gonna miss that because we've got enough. There's a lake, so yeah, we've done Cold Feminia, which is potentially the hardest climb for me, uh, mentally at least. About a quarter of the way to the 225, which is the distance I'm doing. I'm just gonna catch up uh, a couple of people I see who I recognize. So we just climbed up to, we just climbed up from Sawyer and um, up the climb on the other side, this is the first proper feed station and it's absolutely manic. This is actually, now it's climbing down a bit. But yeah, we're about just short of halfway for the 225 now. Carry on. Okay, so the feed stops hopefully split the group a bit more because it was really tight before. So busy all the time, couldn't really film apart from them couple of small, small bits that I did, especially with the other guy filming. Um, yeah, pretty empty now. Beautiful scenery. Just on a bit of a descent now. Slowly catching them guys up. And yeah, so nearly halfway, on because I'm just doing the 225. Uh, yeah, the food was like Coke and cake and uh, energy bars and sandwiches. So I just had a couple of sandwiches, cake. Stole a couple of energy bars. Um, and I filled my bottle up, one with water, one with some coke that I'll let go flat and drink that later. The bike's pretty good to ride on the climbs, but it's pretty crap on uh, on the flats. It just seems to take a lot of effort to get it moving along, which is a shame, because I'm losing a lot of time then. We've got the coast on the right here. Going up there, but I'm just gonna get my head down now and get on with a bit, bit of cycling. So, another feed stop done just behind me. Um, already running out of food, and there's loads of people still arriving. So, uh, yeah, two big climbs to go now, and then, and then the easy flats. To be brutally honest, feeling pretty knackered right now. Definitely glad I'm not doing the free one, too. So, uh, since the second feed stop. There's been two proper climbs, um, fairly chunky ones. Last one was a proper drag, but this is the descent after that climb. And as you can see, the packers. Whoa, it's windy. As you can see, the packers really spread out now. Um, the ordering's kind of sorted itself out. People faster than me, of which most people, I guess, are, are in front. People slower than behind. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of on my own now. But I have to admit that it was just too busy earlier and I'm, I'm actually enjoying this now. Just a bit of peace and quiet. One funny thing is that for the first sort of like 100k everybody was chatty and saying hi and stuff. The next 100k, well if we've, we've not even done that yet, but the next sort of like 70, 80k 
everyone's just in silence. Of that last climb, I just jumped on someone's wheel who had the same gear in as me. We we're both in the same gear, we we're both doing the exact same cadence. We didn't say a word to each other the entire way up. So we're getting back to familiar territory now. We're actually just um, dipping down um, this, this descent. Oh, two cyclists just ahead there. So yeah, we're dipping down this descent and then we'll climb up to Alaro, which is just a little climb. And then it's just a normal uh, route home, one I've done many times. Probably still got about 50 miles to go. And I think there's one feed stop. I don't know if I'm gonna stop at it. I might just see if there's a shop instead because they'll have more choice. Just found a Repsol garage, stopped for some drinks. Talked to a German guy there who's a bit gutted that he can't make a free one too because he hasn't got it in his legs. But yeah, I think because I've stopped there, I can get away with not stopping at the last feed stop and just go straight through. It saves a lot of hassle. Managed to follow those with the tattoos for a couple of miles and we were going really good and then it just got a little bit a little bit steep not massive just like six percent they shot off <laughs> still they helped pull me quite away really doing pretty well at the moment we keep picking uh, picking people off keep coming up to people and picking them off. I think because I'm now somewhere I'm familiar with I'm just more comfortable that I know what the road's gonna be like don't have to uh, save as much for later. Yeah, we're absolutely smashing along. Now we're on roads we know. This is, uh, this is pretty good. Out of Alaro, over the hill. Big descent. Well, out of Alaro, over the hill. Nice descent, not big, but really nice. Quite fast, quite sweeping. And predictable, because I know it, which is great. So we passed the final feed station. It's just behind us in Lasetta. Didn't bother stopping, because it's got enough. Only got sort of like 25k I think. It's gonna get busier now because that feed station will have uh, dropped loads of people back. But it's still quiet. Just a couple ahead, I don't think. There might be just a couple behind. rest of the hotel um, yeah I'm back I've showered and uh, just about to head off for something to eat now so hopefully there's enough footage to actually put a decent video together I didn't film that much it was uh, yeah pretty uh, pretty long day really um, yeah like I say we got with a group at the end and that was really good really pulled me home need to go check out Strava I might even got some PBs on that last road home uh, down through the reeds um, so yeah, thanks for watching as always. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.